You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <laughs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky and bad friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. How do these birdwashing contests even work? Who's checking this? If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Hey, do you guys know a song that goes... Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit, blast from the past, Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet. Thanks. Hey, boss. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. Can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. 
maybe I can encourage her. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh, well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me, you're not alone. I'll be right with you. I better check in with Steph and Ryan. All right, let's hear this infamous song. Daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. In your face, Ryan Lucan. I'm Birder of the Year, and your reign is finished. Uh-oh. Better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that. Steph and Ryan, the newest inductees. Gabe would be proud. <sighs> if she's hiding something, I need to find out what it is for Gabe. Love you, Gabe. What am I going to do with a jacket that says Hell Divers on the back? Jeez, I don't know, boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are going to do. You think I want to broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. Not to be a single-issue voter or anything, but fuck Typhon. is same thing every year tonight hey ducky is everything okay of course i've never felt better okay glad to hear it It's a good game. I'm so glad you like it. I really do.
Hey, getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey, yeah, trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. Is everything okay? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm sure he'll like it. The Spring Festival is nigh. Nigh, I say. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. Good to have options, right? So what are they? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. Okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. Let's go with Ryan. Of course, you're a total smoke show, Steph, but for Diane, I think Ryan is a good choice. This Ryan? This is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the, the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? No, all I want is justice for my brother. Please, help me. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She's sad. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. That's a nice cross. Oh, thanks. Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. 
They're adorable. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. Do you have, um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. A month later, and I can still feel the void he left behind. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. Of all the people this could have happened to, why'd it have to be him? Typhon does a lot of local hiring, huh? We're always growing. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. He was practically a father to Ethan. And now he's gone. It's just so fucked up. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. Okay, time to find out what Diane is really hiding. Hello? Miss Jacobs, it's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Wait, there's something else. I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played. But at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Mm -hmm. 
Diane. Hey, Ryan. What's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Sounds fun. Ryan knows all about the local flora and fauna of Haven. Ryan, tell her about the flora and fauna. Oh, uh, well, that right there is a Colorado pinion jay. It can hold more than 40 seeds at a time with an expandable esophagus. That is impressive. <laughs> so, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya. is pounding. <laughs> Ryan, real talk. I think Diane actually wants you. I know, I can't believe it. <laughs> hey. <gasps> oh, man. You guys, oh, that was hilarious. Oh, my God. I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Is the guitar really necessary? What? How can you be a bard without a guitar? The bard's whole job is to musically regale people. Well then, prepare to be regaled. So, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right. I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. Okay, let me grab my hat. I'm really glad my advice helped. Mm. 
Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Ugh. Steph, I will murder you. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved these little dudes. No sunglasses, though. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. There it is. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. Hey. I don't need, like, cheering up or whatever. Okay. So, maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... I'd be pretty bummed if I didn't get to play my first LARP with you. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, 
Especially my mom. She always looks so... <sighs> sad. Because I'm, like, bummed out. But I can't just pretend. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. A kraken ate a city every year until it died on Thanor's spear. My goodness. You must be Thanor's bard, Alexandra, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope. An ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. Then you must go now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. This is kind of exciting. Looking cool. How do we know where to look? I... Okay. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. turns. Stirring him. Double Thanor's next attack. Ah! Two damage. 
Ah! I'm still on fire! <clears throat> Four damage! <laughs> Loot! Oh, cool! I learned a magic attack! <laughs> One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Keep going. What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. Oh, I must look like such a goofball. So much for being hot. Hot and goofball are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> At least in my book. How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we... Tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. I should probably drop in on Riley and thank her in person. Let's go to the peach. Hmm. It's cute, right? Oh, I bet we can use that. Cream cake? What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, awesome. We should find as many as we can. Aren't I supposed to be the one teaching you how to throw? Hey, hey, what's all this? Too busy to talk right now, sorry. Knock him dead. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. Oh, what's that about? I just haven't slept, you know? Every time I close my eyes, my brain pulls up all these thoughts, these regrets. So I just lie there, crying and feeling like a horrible person. You mentioned regrets. Can you drill down on that? What is it that you regret? I don't know. I'm not sure of anything right now. Heed my warning, you traveling twosome, for within that tavern, it is quite gruesome. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. That makes two of us. Hey, let's hear your riddle. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. How are we supposed to know that? Maybe we can look for some clues. I would gladly work at a place called Gullweather's Tavern. Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in.
What happened here? Fellow survivors, I see. Are you the bartender here? Nope. Monster ate all of the staff. We'll have to serve ourselves. Do you know what this key is for? Belonged to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Let's see what we can find around here. I'm a genius for convincing Steph that my character should be alone behind the bar. All the drinks I want. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Yes? I see you've poured yourself some ale. You just survived a monster attack. I think you deserve a couple drinks on the house. Truly wise beyond your years. How did you survive the attack? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I tripped an elderly woman. She had a coming. Stingy dish wench. Want to tell them about our quest? We're on a quest to end the age of monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. Thanks. I'm gonna go ahead and guess we'll be meeting a snake. We're gonna keep looking around. Good luck. We're going to have to deal with this, aren't we? Did you see this warning? Yeah. That's a bad situation. Trolls are ruthless. I wonder if Alexandra the Bard would have cracked the tavern top 20. Steph really went all out in here. I actually feel bad for that person. If there was a monster and you only had your guitar, would you smash their head with it? Be honest. Of course I would. Are you sure? Yes. I'll believe it when I see it. Thanor, did you see this? That's got to be it! It's one of the jewels! One down, two to go. That wasn't so bad, right? Now I feel more confident we can find the others. Glad you finally believe in us. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Ugh, rough day for Barry the Tavern Keeper. In retrospect, this is so obviously a decoy. 
House Bard. Sorry, Steph. Alexandra is pretty happy with her current gig. I want to focus on Ethan right now. What happened to the rest of the music? What happened to the rest of the music? This kingdom has serious problems. Oh gosh, I think Ducky dropped this. That better be washable. Here we go. This probably has the answer to that riddle. Steph thought of everything. She's amazing at this. Guess Lawrence is gonna need a new business advisor. Was having such a quiet morning. I dare say, Alex is my favorite employee. Ducky's affection. So easily bought. Bye. Godspeed. Godspeed. Check out what I found in that chest. Nice work, Thanor. There was some really interesting stuff in there. To go. Now you look pale. I told you so. Ready to answer? I'll say it once more. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. Their names are... The answer is Nira, Dasis, and Belen. You solved the riddle you've been told. Your prize? A useful hint. Behold. To bribe that deadly troll of old, you have to pay four coins of gold. 
Four coins. Got it. Ah, there's more. Because you solved my verse, you may take one gold from my purse. I wish we could go back to the tavern when it's full of people. It was full of people. Alive people. Obviously. Thanks. Can we hear another riddle? Oh, uh, shit. Sorry. I only had one prepared. This guy's a fraud, I have declared. Not bad, Thanor. for that massacre in the Black Lantern? We're the good guys. Right, of course. Found a scroll? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, not a real massacre. Yeah, it's with props, like theater. No, Mom, it's a very safe... Go get him, Ethan. I'm Thanor. Go get him. Thanor. Could there be something down the alley? This is boring. Shh, they're here. Woe is me. Woe is me. Behold. My love has been slain by yonder river monster. Where? Just down the... yonder... alley. Near the river. Alas, alas. Beware of river monster. Some kind of snake? I guess. Do we have to fight it? Why wouldn't we? I mean... It's kind of cute, isn't it? And not goofy looking at all. What are you talking about? It's getting an attack. What do you want to do? Ophidian chime. Snakes within hearing must fall asleep. Pretend that's a low sound. Snake's ears are internal, so they can't hear. Nice. Let's make some ears bleed. Wait, what's that? It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. Yeah. That was so smart of you to use the bell. It worked out, didn't it? Shit, that didn't take long. Oh. 
Okay. We handled the river serpent. Thank you, adventurers. But you should probably clean up that body. Self, thank God. What a great kid. Ethan's got a lot of people who care about him. They say you've put the snake to sleep. Well done, my friends. It was a creep. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. There's something fun in the record store. No one appreciates me. Oh, there! I hear you've dealt with the river serpent, huh? More than just talk, are you? Perhaps the magpie can help you on your quest. Step inside if your heart is true. Bah! What a thankless life. Being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa. He's really into this. Everything okay? You seem pretty, um, grumpy. I've forgotten the damn components of Sun Silver. Don't suppose you know the composition? Um, if we find out, we'll tell you. I won't hold my breath. I'm guessing this is a fancy art gallery. Wait, no, a pet shop. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal. Come in. Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh, so this is like a magic shop. I'm gonna take a look around a bit, okay? Okay. Let's see what Steph's done to the place. Alex is allowed to think Ryan's hot. I need to get over it. Never seen Steph all twisted up like this before. Surely she knows she's hot too. She's always so confident. The streets used to be full of people. I bet we're supposed to buy something here. I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. I'll do that. That's not ominous at all. Oh, hey, it's Hun Silver. We should tell that blacksmith. Man, my dating life could have used a truth spell or two. As a classically trained bard, I gotta say, this music's not bad. He's forging the Sky Sword of Power. Oh yeah? 
One day, Thanor's gonna find it. Wonder if they have drills for this. That actually looks legit. Golems. Animation fee not included. Oh, Steph. I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars, but I'm glad Thanor has better taste. It's a wonder Valkyrie's ever hungry. What, with all the human flesh I assume she consumes? Warning. Cat is cursed. Do not pet. Yeah, no need to warn me. Seeking insight? Draw a card. Huh. What do I want insight about? Hmm. Really? Is that true for Ryan? I hope so. Uh, what? Chaos and destruction. Yeah, no shit. Yikes. Holy shit, too real. Spells, very cute stuff. Are these spells for sale? To members of the Sorcery Guild only. Sorry. The Soul Sapphire's right there! For sale! Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never mind. Maybe we can make some kind of deal with her. Would you consider giving us that sapphire? In exchange for something far more valuable. My hand. In marriage. And all of its associated benefits. I'm sure this isn't the first time someone's asked you given your obvious hotness. Uh, I mean, <laughs> oh man, this just got real. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued, but I'm afraid I can't accept. For now. We need the Sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the Age of Monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the River of Sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales, and I'll give you the Sapphire in return. One magic fish scale. Impressive. Well, then here's my end of the bargain. One more jewel left. Getting there.
So there's definitely a troll at the Eastern Bridge. Do you think we can beat a troll? Probably. Very friendly troll. Now that I'd like to see. Three gold, please. I hope we meet again. I do. I do, I do, I do. Maybe when Ethan's not around. Hey, we found the components of Sun Silver. It's iron, goblin ore, and fire powder. Praise the gods. Of course. How could I forget? Why don't you take that scroll for your kindness? I've no need of it. Got another scroll. Cool. Come on. Monster abundances are when you need apothecaries the most. Ah. Disappointed? I thought I would finally get to go in. We're like master scroll seekers. Yep. Three, I control me. One, two, three, I control me. This book is written for fucking toddlers. Ooh, nothing like getting pissed off at your anger management book. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. That run felt amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. Good for her. Mind if I duck in here a second? I have to, um, renew my Bard Guild membership. Yeah. Okay. Hey there. <laughs> A 
I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. So Eleanor's donating all those decorations? Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you want to check it out, it's running on the office computer. But don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. I didn't realize you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering. Or maybe robotics? It's a lot to figure out. Kind of crazy. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about something else. I saw Eleanor at the Black Lantern this morning. <laughs> she probably needed a break from me. I've been nagging her all morning about getting one of those, like, medical alert buttons. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna be four hours away, and she's never lived alone before. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. Probably too embarrassed to show his face. <laughs> he gives me shit every time I see him. I can't get out of this town fast enough. Stay strong. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. Must be hard to find new employees in a small town. I hope it works out. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. Got a soul jewel right there. Oh, 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 you like my belt? <laughs> it's made of human skin. <laughs> what do you think we should do? <clears throat> troll dust. Dusted trolls become very friendly. One pinch per troll. No, no. Don't you dare just... Oh. Oh. Man. Uh. <laughs> visitors. <laughs> I love visitors. Can I can I get you anything? <laughs> uh, a glass of marsh water. Uh, slug tips. How about that jewel? On your belt? Sure. <laughs> Anything else? Why don't you say something nice about each of us? Mm. You put a great deal of thoughtfulness and care into everything you do. And you see deep into the hearts of people. 
but you don't let that stop you from believing in them. This troll is emo. <laughs> yeah. I think that's all we need, right? Come visit again. Anytime. <laughs> We've got all three. We can go back to the king now. Yep. Okay, that troll was scary. I admit it. Nothing to admit. It's just facts. Even after you used the dust, he was still scary. Would you rather be scary or good looking? Scary. How come? Because I've already done good looking. Har har. We've still got coins. Should we spend them before we go back to the king? Good idea. Maybe we'll swing by the Emporium. So, I can heal already with my music. Yeah, but the scroll heals us completely, and it cures poison and stuff like that. We've already got a scroll of nimbleness. Yeah, dodging is useful though. We've already got some of these, right? Yeah. One gold, please. All right, back to the park. hide with a ribbon that bright. I saw that, like, right before you picked it up. Okay, you can have the credit. No, I don't care. I'm just saying. Too late. Credit's yours.
Huh. Did Ethan drop this? Oh my god. It's my mom. <laughs> Feynor, the monster slayer. You've come at last. Do you remember me from your past adventures? You're Natheria, the forest spirit. You have done well on your quest. The forest notices. She offers a treasure for you to claim. Look, there. What is that? The Sky Sword. It's the Sky Sword of Power! It's exactly the same as I drew in the comics! It's got the pincer, and the same grip, and it's got this part for the jewels. How do they do it? Can I really take it? Promise me you'll only use it for good, helping others and stuff like that. Okay. A song, if you please. The prophecies fulfilled at last. Now Thanos' might is unsurpassed. Take that sword now, and the jewels! Stormrider, the undead! I should have known King Tabor was you all along! You fools! You have collected the jewels I need and brought them right to me! We've gotten this far. We can beat him. Give them to me! him burning blade oh. Oh. Uh, curse this fire stirring
Fighting him! Electric cave! No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, curse this fire! Scroll of advantage. Blast! Ow! Sorry. Worth it. Oh! Unholy lightning storm! Death to all who defy me! Ah! Scroll of healing. him oh. ah. scroll of nimbleness Healing Serenade. Burning Blade! Oh. wasn't your fault at all. It wasn't, okay? It wasn't. Charlotte? Back here. Hey. 
Thanks for coming. Of course. Ethan's dad already pick him up? Yeah, they just left. I just wanted to thank you. Ethan needed today. It was a group effort, but I'm glad I could help. He thinks the world of you, you know. After everything, I think you're sort of a zero. Mm. He's sort of mine. How creative he is. You must be so proud of him. He was so thrilled to see you show up with the sword. I think that was mostly about the sword. Maybe. But I think he was happy to see you in his world. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Charlotte? God, Alex, don't mind me, okay? Just a lot going on. <sighs> I don't mind you at all. Do you want to talk about it? You're really sweet, but I'm okay. Thanks for swinging by. I'll see you at the festival. Charlotte, I can tell some- Said no! Fuck, don't you listen? was a mistake. Where did that anger come from? Maybe there's something here that can tell me why. Ryan, it's your fault. You were supposed to protect us. Why couldn't you? your fault. Everyone loves you, but I can't look at you without thinking about how fucked everything is since you came into my life. Gabe, it's your fault. Why would you teach me to need someone again just to go and leave me all alone? She's so angry at everyone around her, but there's something else here. with me. I can't 
can't let myself feel this way. When did I become such a fucking monster? Ethan! It's your fault! Why couldn't you just fucking listen? You're angry at him. At Ethan. You blame him. I'm a bad mom, Alex. Charlotte. Charlotte. I hate my son, Alex. He's sweet, and he's creative, and he's the most important thing in the entire universe to me. And I hate him. For so long, it was just me and him. It took so long to learn how to be okay with that. And I was. But then... Kate... I can deal with hating Ryan, or you, or even Gabe. But Ethan, if he had just listened, Gabe would still be alive. It all comes back to that. What you're feeling makes more sense than you think. Your pain matters too. None of it fucking matters! He's dead! <sighs> I wish I were too. This anger could kill her, and nothing I'm saying is helping. What if... I could just take it away. I can do it. I can take her anger from her. What would that do to her? What would it do to me? And even if I can, should I? Alex? I'm okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Yes, I... I think so. Shit. Did I freak out on you? I'm sorry, Alex. I'm... Not sure what came over me. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I think so. Just maybe I blacked out for a minute. I guess that's what happens when you don't sleep. Huh. I wrecked my sculpture. Seems so crazy in here, but I feel... 
how do I feel? Hey, go home. You're exhausted. I'm serious. It's okay. I'll see you tonight. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Is Typhon run by the Illuminati? That would explain the conspicuously triangle-shaped logo. Boom! Finally cracked it. <laughs> hey. Alex. So, how did things go with Charlotte? It was intense, but I think maybe she'll be okay. Honestly, I'm not sure how to even talk about it. That's okay. You don't have to. So please tell me that the USB stick revealed all of Typhon's secrets. <sighs> not yet, but Alex. We found a recording of Gabe's call. I should probably listen to that. I need to know. We're here for you, okay? Type in safety. Mac? It's me. Fuck off, Jen. Yeah, yeah, okay, just listen. I need you to call off the explosion. Ethan's in the blast radius. Shit. He could get killed. What the hell's wrong with you? He snuck off. We're, we're up here right now, trying to find him. Mac, please. All right, I'm on it. We'll hold the blasts. Fuck. You can't imagine the headaches this will create for me. Thanks, Smack. Whatever. Just doing my job. They just ignored him. <laughs> it's so fucked. You know it's bad when Mac turns out to be the good guy. Alex. You okay? We're gonna get him. I promise. What the hell? Oh, it doesn't matter. None of it fucking matters. He's dead. He's... Fuck that. I don't need to take this. I should follow her. We'll be right downstairs, all right? is taking these fuckers down. This USB stick has what I need. Time to dig through it. A cold case and a warm beer. Ryan brought this down from his station. Hope it comes in handy. A key part of any good investigation. If that happened to me, what's happening to Charlotte?
Gabe's call came in from the sat phone at 8.41 p.m. I should find the next call and see if that has any information. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hello, Diane. My name is Rory Praha. I'm a journalist with the Rocky Mountain Gazette. We'll be printing a story on last night's accident in the paper tomorrow. Would you like to provide a comment? Yes, I would. Last night's accident was tragic, and made all the more unfortunate by the fact that it could have been avoided with a simple phone call. A simple phone call? Can you speak more about that? Of course. Typhon always has a safety manager on duty. One quick call from Mr. Chen to our 24-hour emergency line would have alerted us that there were people in the danger zone, and we could have reacted accordingly and stopped the blasts. Are other Haven citizens in danger of meeting the same fate as Gabe Chen? Absolutely not. As long as you heed the warning signs, you will be safe. And if you ever do find yourself in an emergency, that's what our emergency line is for. There's no danger whatsoever. All right. We'll be sure to include your comments. Thanks for giving me your time, Diane. Have a nice day. I almost threw up listening to that. Lena, it's Diane. We have a problem. You're kidding. There's a kid lost in the mountains near the pit. We need to postpone. Lena? Haven is your site, Diane, and therefore this is your decision. I know I don't need to remind you of the stakes. Someone could be hurt. Or killed. We've been over this. Anyone up there has disregarded posted notices and accepted full liability. We're talking about a child. I'm just asking for one day. If you postpone tonight's scheduled blast, you put Rhea in jeopardy. That puts the whole company in jeopardy. Is that what you want? No. Then do the math and make the right call. Email me when it's done. I will. So Typhon thought Rhea, whatever that is, was worth risking our lives. Let's hope Diane's email sheds more light. Lena. Hello, Diane. Is it safe to assume you've gotten your emotions under control? My emotions? Someone was killed last night because of a decision you made. I think- I would be very careful with what you say next. Who do you think is more at risk here? Me or you? Excuse me? Now, of course, we're all committed to helping you make it through this difficult period. We don't want to see anyone be scapegoated over an unavoidable accident, right? Right. Great. Then you and I are aligned. Who else knew there were people in the mountains? Just my safety manager, Mac. He got their distress call just before I contacted you. Do you trust him? I... I think I can convince him to be trustworthy. Good. Good. Only one point of contact, and you've got him handled. I think we're going to make it through this just fine. Speak to you soon. Okay. I refuse to feel bad for Diane in all this, but... Damn. This is the email Diane mentioned. So what is Rhea? Wow, that's a funny way to spell criminal negligence. I bet this is when Diane decided to start copying evidence to this USB stick. He had a name and a life and a girlfriend and a sister. Rhea went off undetected. A second blast went off that night. What did Lena say? Without the scheduled blast, Rhea will be discovered. It was a diversion. They set off the blast that killed Gabe to cover up another one somewhere else. That's why they couldn't wait. 
If I can find out where that blast went off, it might tell me why it was so important. Typhon Mining, this is Diane. Hi, Diane. It's Rose, down at Town Hall. Hey, Rose, how are you? Oh, I'm busy as a bee this time of year. You have a second? Some folks have come in here with some questions about the expansion and all that. I was hoping you could give me some answers to pass along to them. I'll do my best. What are the questions? Let's see here. Okay, first question. How many jobs do you expect to create by opening a second pit? We'll be starting with 25 new positions, but that number is expected to grow to 45 within the first year. Oh, give me just a moment here to jot that down. Alrighty, next up, a uh, number of questions regarding risks for pollution. Water, air quality, etc., etc. Anything you can offer there? You know, let me pass that on to our environmental outreach department. They'll get back to you with all the relevant fact and figures. Oh, sure, sure. No problem at all. And last one. They want to know if there will be more mining vehicles driving through town. Yes, we will be increasing our transportation needs somewhat with the expansion. But to minimize disturbance, we plan to direct drivers to stick to approved trucking routes. And of course, never after 6 o'clock. Never after 6. Thanks so much, Diane. That's all I have for you right now. My pleasure. Have a good one, Rose. You too. Diane is really good at pretending to be a person. This is Rhea. Fuck. This map's too small to tell where this is. I need a map. That's the site of the 2008 Typhon mine collapse. Why would they set off a blast in their current mine to cover up a blast in their old mine? Didn't Typhon just have inspections around the old site? They weren't mining for anything. They were burying something. 